Ja. Um, oh no, I hit it. Yeah, would you look at that? A perfect flat line at 750. Yes! Ah! Ah! So to summarize, the AI Ada is a lot more snarky in 1.0. The onboarding process is, of course, a lot smoother, and there seem to be a lot of nice quality of life and polish features. This isn't good enough, though. I need to make it look better, nicer, better, more efficient. First things first, I just need a little breathing room. Stretch out the old diaphragm, duodenum. Ah, oh, yes. This is the perfect straight belt for my factory. Starting up my more compact iron factory. This one makes plates, rods, screws, and reinforced plates, and it only takes up this much space compared to whatever mess was going on there, and there's some remnants left over I'm still going to destroy. Hey buddy, you still in there? Oh yeah! <laughs> How you doing? Did you collect anything? Oh, concrete. I don't know where you got it. But thanks. No, stay there. Stay. Stay in your cage. So now I feel like there's at least some very basic organization going. This is all power production, of course. And then early game, you really only need a big iron factory. So that's the big iron factory. And I have a tiny concrete factory and a tiny copper factory here. Well, I can definitely get this by now. So let's go ahead and throw those resources in. Yeah, I wonder if they added anything new to the shop. Let's check that out. Oh, dark mode? <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, the finishers are new. And we got fences and barriers. Nice. Okay, wire isn't going to get me anywhere. So I'm going to do rotors. How many points is that? Give me at least one coupon, please. Yeah, one coupon. Yeah, achievement for printing out coupons. I got Chuck E. Cheese tickets, let's go. First thing I'm actually gonna get is this ladder because uh, yeah, verticality is difficult in the early game. That's pretty important, I think. The world is not Since I've unlocked tier three and four, I think the obvious choice is gonna be coal power to get first. 150 of these reinforced plates is really steep at that point you basically have to start automating them which I'm doing thankfully Die you fluffy tailed bastard Yeah, you're not so tough now that you're fluffy tailed, huh? I mean you already were fluffy tailed, but now you're named fluffy tail. Oh, I almost fell into the fart clouds This tree is probably like several thousands years old, but you know what? I need some wood for my factories to make some iron plates. Oh ha, what's this, Mr. Slug? Come here, let me grab my first slug. Ah, achievement for that as well, thank you. I'll take that, put it in my pocket, smoke it later. Oh, if I fell off this shit, I would never find my way back. Need to be a little bit careful. Oh, hello, Mr. Spitter. Ow! Are you guarding some treasure for me? Is it a summer sloop? I need that. Thank you. Let me in. Oh, I can? Yes. There we go. Oh, I got mycelia like crazy too. And the summer sloop. Oh, I don't even have enough space. No, what a buzzkill. That's fine, I'll just get rid of 79 leaves. Marie Somerville. Obia strip has found its way to both human and extraterrestrial culture. Uh, you talking about how children draw this shape in uh, their notebooks in elementary school universally? Oh, hello. I see, so Marie is partly responsible for the discovery of this planet itself. Now I got more stuff to unlock in the ma'am. Oh, cool. So the blue ones are just kind of younger. I'll go ahead and unlock fabric. Ah, the humble parachute. Finally. This is a big step. Oh, I can analyze the summer sloop. Okay. Oh. Um, starting to think there might be another force at play, ladies and gents. But yeah, all this stuff is new. Oh, look how cool it looks. At last, the parachute. 
Yes, I can use the parachute while two feet from the ground. Any questions? Yes, at last. We are here. The first automated power supply. Well, it used to be. It's fully automated, that's right. You don't need to go out and get leaves anymore. To test if something is water, try touching it. If it is not solid and does not corrode your suit, it is probably water. Aw, that is a good guide. I've always wondered what water was. Uh, I feel so poor in this early game. I've still got nothing. I'm just a mere pauper. Can I please have some more? Tier 2 complete with jump pads, which I don't normally use that much. No, oh, it looks like the nearest coal is not at all near as expected. Now let's unlock some more stuff, shall we? Ah, uh, yes, vehicular transport. Oh, I also found a hard drive the other night. It looks like they gave them a new uh, sprite. That looks nice. So we can go ahead and start scanning that. Unlike early self-driving vehicles, tractors will not spy on you. Throwing a little jab at Tesla there. Enhanced asset security? Of course, I'll take it. Quote, the zapper kind of electrocutes things. The basher straight up smacks stuff. While straight also up smacks stuff? Them. Nice. Unquote. Don't mind if I do get a little bashful. Uh, let's equip that. Nice, nice. I wonder how much raw iron it actually takes to make a single modular frame. Probably like 50 or something, I don't know. Uh, while we're at it, we might as well just go ahead and wrap up tier 3 of production. We got steel now, so next up is blueprints. Okay, time to get my first ever alternate. I'm sure there's new alternates, but I won't see them for a while, probably. Okay, yeah. I, I knew they made some changes. Oh, I like this. You can just scan it and then do it whenever you want. And you can only rescan once. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get freaking iron wire because that seems good. Now I got a freaking tractor. Look at my big old noggin. Anyway, it's just a short, you know, maybe one minute drive over here to the nearest coal deposits, which will be very instrumental for. Oh, oh no, I hit it. Fucking li was that a lizard doggo? Oh no, I'm so sorry. Anyway, we're here at the coal place. Ooh, what do we have here? Some quartz as well. Seems like the automatic lock-on when you're building is just a little bit smoother, which is nice. It's a big enhancement of your gameplay. This place also has a lot of natural resources for me to harvest. Hello, more resources? Ooh, yes, bauxite. Is this Katerium? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Oh, I found barrel nuts. Yummy. Ah, I'll bash you. I got a new weapon. I warned you. Yes, more Katerium. This took me so long to find last game in the beginning. Oh, I found a cave too. Oh, there's a lot of bad men. Get away from me. Ooh, yellow slug for the first time too. Oh, okay. I'm not going any further because that looks like death. I was kind of hoping to find one of them Mercer Spheres. No, don't kill me! You freak! You freak! I just want the power slugs. For some reason, yeah, pulling my parachute seems to elevate me. I mean, I'll take it. Use it to cheese that freaking whole section where I should use explosives. Climbing up a little bit of these alien structures so I can get a nice view. Oh, look. So we're right on the border of the big, like, baobab tree-esque kind of area and the jungle that I started out in. This map is crazy, man. Wait, is that one? Aha! I found you! Ah! Ah! The achievement is called I'm sure these play a critical role. I love how they leaned into the sense of humor with the 1.0 release. Oh wow, I actually got a little Katerium ore right here. No! I'm being poisoned! Oh, that almost killed me. Katerium, coal. Let's drive home. Ah, I didn't mean to honk. That time I meant to. Ah, get out of the way, bouncy back. Get out of the road. Freeloader. We're back. 
Factory, I'm home. All right, time to research some shiz. Quartz, make it scannable. And guys, Satisfactory is a game that's just about having fun and chilling out. And as you can see, I have way more than enough of this fuel. Uh, there's no like time limit really, even in the early game. It's it's, and pretty soon we're gonna have automated power, so it's gonna be even less pressure. I see you, slug up there. Also, I didn't even comment on this because I didn't notice it last time, but that's definitely new. They added a freaking colossal ring. I guess that's the space station that we're docking to with the space elevator. Oh, uh, now I can unlock overclocking. Yes, that's going to be key, of course. However, now I can make my inhaler. <laughs> I need my inhaler. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't want scurvy. And other shortage in unlocked. Ah. It smells like fried breakfast-induced cardiac arrest. Oh, look, the Mercer sphere is like wiggling and shit. Ah, in my inventory. Ah. Oh. What? Guys, I think we might find some aliens in in Satisfactory 1.0, and let's check on our little lizard. Oh, hi. He's still alive. That's good news. Well, have fun in there. Welcome back to the factory, everybody. What was I thinking with this puke green ass color? Let's go for something a little more stylish, shall we? Yes, the mind numbing fuchsia. Well, guys, I gathered some coal when I went to those coal deposits the other day. And uh, now I got foundries, so I just decided I could hook this one up to this iron node here and then just toss in some coal that I've gathered, make my very first steel. Why not? Okay, now it's about time to hook up our power all the way over to the coal deposits so that I can make our first coal generators. Right here is where I got that hard drive earlier. So at first I'm just gonna dig this coal out into the storage container gather up as much as I can. Interesting. Most pioneers already had coal power set up by this point because they understood hey. their responsibility to humanity. Come on. Adjusting pioneer Oh. Ole. Come here, bitch. Well, since we're in sort of a crater like area, I kinda need to build upwards. Also avoids all those gas clouds from these guys. So I made a little platform up here and I think this would be a good place to put all these coal generators. Throw down the range of possibilities. Or you could just pipe it to a coal powered generator and see what happens. Yeah, I love that attitude. Let's just see what happens. Who knows, we could have a totally awesome invention on our hands if we pipe some kind of new alien fluid into these generators. So yeah, gamers, it's pretty simple to set up a coal extractor, you should know by now, but but welcome to the classroom if you're new, so just set down your water extractor in this suspicious looking liquid. You want to get your pump on there because uh, that's quite a bit of height. And you just get your coal extractor node, take that over to the manifold that I just made. You might need more than one pump, in this case I need one more. And I think that should do it. I think it's only going to run two of them though because I only have one water extractor. Any more rotors to place more water extractors? Yeah, it sounds like they're turning on. Oh yeah, look, there's power production. It's kind of fluctuating right now. Awesome. Okay, so they're all they're all bugging out, but it's this is the beginning. This is how it begins. All right, just one leap of faith into the water. Let's go back to our tractor. It's going to grab all the coal for me to turn into steel at home. Of course. Oh, I think I'm a little faster when I'm descending on a parachute. What's the nearest quartz? Oh no. Oh, that might be better. Ah, he's getting poisoned by the freaking fart gas. And now with this steel module, I just hooked up a constructor. And look at that, first ever steel beams. But my job isn't done over at the coal plant, so let's head on over there. Oh, rock. All right, so you need some more water for your coal generator as well. Just slap another bad boy down right next by, then hook her up. It's as simple as that. Now you just need power. Ah, oh, what's this? 
discovered a nice little promontory. I want to climb the giant land rib cage. Ah, it's poisoning me to climb it. Ooh, what's this? Sulfur? Don't mind if I do. Oh, would you look at that? Looks like the addition of just one more water extractor got almost all of them up and running. Uh, as long as it's functional. Right now I'm getting power from these things. That's what I needed. But I will be fixing it up very shortly. Thanks to this very long power line, now energy is being pumped from the coal generators back. Originally it was taking away from the power. Ooh, rock again. Oh, they changed the look of sulfur and quartz, I think. Those, those look like different sprites. Yep, yeah, we reached the max capacity of biofuel. It's probably not even burning anymore because of the coal generators. Oh, and would you look at that? It looks like my coal generator power production is fully stabilized at an even 375. That means, yeah, my biomass burners probably aren't even... I don't think they're burning anything. That's how easy it is to just completely replace your early game power source with a new one. Much better. Would you look at that, gamers? Fix it blueprints unlocked just like that. Oh, okay. Not allowed to complain about how big this thing is, so it's the perfect size. Thank you, fix it. A bigger size than this, and I'm super hyped to give that a try. Before I go too much farther, I want to see if I can access some of this quartz. Oh, I missed the power slug there. I'll come back when I get a jetpack. Oh, hello, sir. Can I teach you about the efficient ways of pioneering? Don't tell me the freaking quartz is up there. Come on. Yeah, it is. You guys. Oh, there's some right there. So I'm just going to hook up this bad boy to its own independent power grid. Servicing just this miner so that I can get some quartz going. Hang on guys, look at this animation. Did they change this? Cause look at how cute it is. Look, it like looks around, gets its bearings, opens its eyes. Oh, and then its legs turn into the drill. Wow guys, this truly is the best starting point. Quartz is right there, coal is just right there. Just a short little walk away. Of course, I mostly just want these blade runners, but I'll unlock all these things. If you're wondering why I'm prioritizing that, uh, yeah, it's these blade runners. They make you go zoom. Whoa, look at me go. Oh, I jumped so high. I'm on my way to getting logistics mark three now. Just need quite a lot of reinforced iron plates for that. But yeah, I think it's about time for some factory redesign soon. We won't be needing these anymore. Uh, don't worry though. I'll rebuild them in a better looking configuration. Meanwhile, all these bits and pieces like all this biofuel it won't go to waste I'm not throwing it away I'm storing it uh -oh. uh, fuse blue for a second but I think we back uh oh um, do I still need the biomass burners oh would you look at that finally we've done it that's a hefty price but we got logistics mark 3 that's a huge huge upgrade Hard work has repeatedly proven to be the best cure for any kind of stress. Now back to work. Yeah, I've experienced that. Anytime I'm stressed out, just go down to the mines, start digging. You know what they say, we all yearn for the mines after all, because we're children at heart. I got one of these things too, a little rebar gun. Forgot about that. Well, I guess it's time to set up some more coal power shenanigans. Oh, so that's what was going on. I was trying to steal some of this coal uh, using a splitter here, but then this freaking coal generator line wasn't getting nearly enough coal. But now look at them, they're all running. It's not a beautiful sight. And even more beautiful, this perfect flat line. I had this earlier, but then I beefed it up, but now it's good. So if I just do this one more time, let's see, five coal generators, two water extractors, one coal node. That simple recipe, I can double my output. Uh, spoiler alert, you can see I already have some way back there. Well, I couldn't stand the way that it looked, so I finally went around and just made everything nice concrete. 
Also, you'll notice that I made a little elevation incline thing here for my hub. That way I can lower it over everything and properly get a nice view of my factories around me. It's looking kind of familiar, isn't it? Kind of looks like sport construction in here. But it's time, it's time, it's time to get to advanced steel. Which is going to be key because we unlock the encased industrial beam. Now would you look at this lads? I got twice as much coal power production now going. Whoa ho ho ho. Skibbity Ohio Rizzle, yeah. Whoa ho ho ho. Skibbity 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 skibbity. Well now I've fixed it I have. As you can see my production is going up. Until finally at last it should stabilize up here at double the amount. Well there's only a couple things left here in tier 4. Might as well go ahead and wrap it up I think. Hyper tubes, hyper 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 tubes. Yes, I need them. I love them, I need them. Okay, I got quick wire now, uh, which is great because I really want to get this zip line. And there you go, one of the most important early game items. Zip line. Yes! Yes! Is a Mercer sphere like right nearby? You're kidding me. Oh, I see. I've found you, sir. Hiding under the ground, where are we? Oh god. Okay, I'll pray for you. Come here, you slug ass bitch. You thought you could hide on this thing? Oh god. Oh god. This is gonna hurt a lot. Oh! Oh, there's a Mercer just right here. I didn't even see it. Oh, hello, sir. Okay, now the last one. Let's wrap it up here. Expanded power infrastructure. Oh, hang on. I need 50 uh, modular frames. Alright, no problemo. We got it. We got there. And slam that bitch. Sweet, now I got stuff like power towers, power storage. Ooh, I'm gonna slam a couple of these puppies down. Yeah, would you look at that? A perfect flat line at 750. We're not even consuming anywhere near that yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and charge up these batteries so that I can dismantle my coal generators and rebuild them in a much prettier configuration because I know that's kind of a go to look at right now. I need to make a space for my space elevator, ironically, and uh, takes up a lot of room. There we go. That fits barely, nice and snug. And would you look at that, just like that, my empire has transformed from a ruddy piece of junk in the dirt, worth nothing more than a spit, not a second look, to something truly passable. Oh, I hope you guys have been enjoying the 1.0 release of Satisfactory. I'm just sitting up at work all day like, man, I want to be building factories. But hey, look at this, perfectly 100% efficient, 10 coal generators set up. That's great for early game, 750 megawatts. And I'm still going to come back and make this look better, of course. But since this part has been going for a while, I should probably go ahead and end it and uh, get working on the next video. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you do, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys around. Peace out.